Hi guys, today we're reviewing the part two of the tractor trailer set that I had gotten. Still, I don't know what brand it's from. But if you haven't watched my first video yet, watch my first video. My first video is just of the truck itself. This video is going to be the container and trailer. So let's get into the review. Okay, so I. So to start off, we'll start off with the container real quick. Okay, so here's the container. I'm pretty sure it's about 40 foot. Yeah, it's 40 foot because I have my 20 foot containers. Look, here is one for reference. See, it's half the size. It's new. Yes. Yeah, this is 40 foot. Then it, it's a most sealant. Sorry if I'm pronouncing most wrong. I got this just to get the container, and then I like the Volvo trucks, too. And, uh, so, like the rail cars, you could see, I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but you could actually read all of this. Hold on. I don't know if the camera would pick it up, but you could read everything. I love the Mosk logo. Now I think all rail companies own at least one lo locomotive of the Mosk. Because I know Norfolk Southern owns a few and BNSF owns a few. I don't know about the other companies. So it has really good detail from the Moog. And uh, I don't, I'm pretty sure the top can come off. Look, it won't come off right now for me. Look, there it, is. there it goes. It has like a magnet of weight on it as you can see or something then it's just plastic it's not detailed but on this side it's detailed because this is the side you would see and if I flip this over on this side it's really nothing but like a weight and you can see a little bit of detail I don't know why they added that and so we put this back on so we looked at the front and top. Let's look at the sides and bottom now. So as you can see on the bottom, on the side, it has the two doors, and then it has the most logo on both doors. And I'm pretty sure it's the same for the other side. No, the other side has nothing but just the detail. Then the bottom. The bottom really doesn't have anything. As you can see, it's just like a weight on it or something and then it has this right here I don't know what that's for I guess that's to help hook it up on the trailer I think okay so next up is the trailer okay so here's the trailer it has incredible wheel detail that can actually move to all four of them and then it has top detail right here and then it the trailer is actually extendable, I don't know how far, I guess so you could fit longer separately bought containers on it, like 50 foot containers or something, and it still works out good, and it still has this to balance it out, Never, you don't have it carried by a truck, you could extend it out like this and then put it back in, then they have a bunch of detail on the right here as you can see all the detail sorry if my shadow is getting in the way you can see all the detail on it let's go to the back of it on the back of it you can see like the brake lights and then the turning lights yeah. then everything's pretty much good on it if we go to the bottom you can see it's clipped in like the trailer Mm, yeah, I'm put, it looks like it's clipped in. Then it has this that connected from this part right here, and it connects to down here. It clips on, so I think you you could probably take them off if you please. It's like if you want to. I mean, then you can see the little nozzle to put it on the truck to connect it to the truck. And then they have still good detail. So let's see it with the. Okay, so here they two are together and they come out perfect looking like that. 
Then if we take the tractor, hold on. As I was saying, if we take the tractor trailer, put it up, I don't think you could. Mm, yeah, you actually can kind of hook it up doing that, I think. So I'll to hook that. There we go. So, this is how it looks in total together. You could put it on your layout. Put on the containers, kind of push back. There you go. This is how it would look if you just have it sitting around on your layout. Maybe you could put it in your inner modal station or whatever. So this was part two of two of the two part review of the tractor trailer review from an anonymous company. So bye guys. See y'all next week.